love you. For me, it's when you do a concert and you see a sea of people singing the lyrics all in unison and holding up candles and you go, wow. <laughs> you know, it just really makes your heart happy and that's what really makes you feel like everything's okay. I am committed to my art. I believe that all art has as its ultimate goal the union between the material and the spiritual, the human and the divine. I believe that to be the reason for the very existence of art. And um, I feel I was chosen as an instrument to uh, just give music and love and harmony to the world. When I create my music, I feel like an instrument of nature. I wonder what delight nature must feel when we open our hearts and express our God-given talents. The sound of approval rolls across the universe and the whole world abounds in magic. Wonder fills our hearts for what we have glimpsed for an instant, the playfulness of life. I'd have to be able to create. I have to create something. I'd rather die if I couldn't create. Shut me down. <laughs> I have to give it out. The creative process, yes. I love creating. I love it. I'm obsessed with creating. I knew I wanted to do something wonderful all my life. It's just an idea. I don't know if it's the psychology of it or what. I just love working hard on something, putting it together, sweating over it, and then sharing it with people and having them love it. And I always pray that they like it. And uh, that's what gives me great satisfaction as an artist. It's a great relief because it's what I do and it's, it's, it makes me feel like I'm totally at home, I'm into my own, this is what I'm here for and uh, any of the arts like that could be film, music, you know, any type of art, I love it. I am married but to my work, I'm married to my music and it has to be that closeness in order to do the kind of work that I want to do. As to be an artist, a great artist, I, I love what I do and I would love people to love what I do and to be loved, I just simply want to be loved wherever I go. Love, you feel lots of love and I feel blessed and honored to be able to be an instrument of nature that was chosen to give them that when I give them. I'm very honored and happy about that. Great music and great melodies are immortal. I don't care, you know, fashion change, culture changes, uh, customs change, uh, great music is immortal. We still listen to Mozart today, Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff, any of them, any of the greats. Great music is it's like a great piece of sculpture or a great painting. It's forever, you know, for generations upon generations to appreciate forever, really. And that's, that's I know that's a fact. Um, I'll be directing myself. I love directing. I love creativity. And I think when an artist steps forward with a production of some type, if he can express himself the way he sees it should be done, I mean, I, I, I feel it and I see it. I'm a visionary. So uh, if I can give that, I, I do. And that's, that's what I love to do with music, with, with film, with dance, with the... Uh, I love the arts. I sat here and played some chords, whatever, and say I'm going to write the best song I've ever written. Nothing happens. Something in the heavens has to say, look, this is the time that this is going to be laid on you, and this is when I want you to have it. Now, I remember when I when I wrote Billie Jean, I was riding in my uh, car down Ventura Boulevard. All I said to myself beforehand, I want to write a song with a great bass hook, you know, and um, um, and I just let it go, really, and then. Several days later, you know, um, um, do, do, um, um, do, you know, the whole Where did thing, that come do, from? From above. I believe in God, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very much. I love you!
Because I just can't stop